Today uh, we will discuss about the gener FM generation using indirect method. And we know that there are problems uh, of uh, generating FM using direct method. The first one we know that we can uh, produce using the LC circuits. So LC circuit produces unstable signal, so which is an issue. The second is the FM methods. FM method gives distortion due to nonlinear device. And the other one is uh, using the crystal oscillators, but uh, the crystal oscillator has also a limitation that it cannot produce more than one megahertz. So that is why we have to go toward the indirect methods. So um, uh, we know that what is the FM signal. So FM calls omega CT plus and the PM Before understanding to the uh, indirect methods, so we will uh, discuss. Uh, we will uh, discuss a block, and we suppose that so this is a method of generating a narrow band FM signal. So uh, once we have a narrow band FM signal, then we can have frequency multiply. Frequency multiplier will give the uh, output to the mixer. And the output of mixers to the bandpass filter. And then this is uh, again uh, the you can use you can use class C uh, amplifier here. like you can use amplifier and then you have the FM signal which is wide band. So you know uh, uh, in the uh, PM signal you have a message signal but in the FM signal you are taking uh, the integration of uh, the message signal so that is why you can say it is an indirect message indirect method of generating uh, the wideband signals like you are giving your message signal to the integrator and the output will be integral of mt dt and then you are using product modulator or the balanced modulator whose input is the phase shifter 90 degree phase shifter of your local oscillator so which is cause omega ct and the output of that phase shifter is sine omega ct and then you are having a summer so that is your narrow band FM signal so XT so XT will be the input of the frequency multiplier so uh, this signal is known as uh, uh, indirect. So this uh, uh, so this is uh, known as indirect generation of the FM signal. So what is frequency multiplier? Like frequency multiplier uh, is used to double the frequency or the triple the frequency. So we can uh, convert the narrow band signal to the wide band signal. So that is why we are using. 
frequency multiply like convert the narrow band FM to the wide band FM signal. So it can be it can be doubler or a tripler so depending on the type of the uh, message that you want to generate like suppose if xt is your suppose if xt is equals to cos omega ct and then using doubler Doubler means that you are multiplying so AC AC cos omega CT doubler so will be equals to AC square cos square omega CT so which is equals to AC by 2 1 plus cos 2 omega CT so it means that you are uh, Try you are making twice the frequency. Like if you uh, want to further like understand the operation of the uh, frequency multiplier, I hope that you understand that uh, as well. Like the frequency multiplier is basically a component which is uh, uh, based on the non-linear device whose output is given to the band pass filter and then this is your message and we know that the output of the non-linear device is dependent on the input like if it is y of t frequency multiply operation so you can say that y of t is equals to a naught plus a1 xt plus a2 x square t plus and so on so if your xt is cos if your xt is cos omega ct then you can write y t is equals to a naught plus a1 cos omega ct plus a2 cos omega uh, cos pure omega ct plus form and then so this is your so this is uh, the output of your signal but you have if you have a tuned your bandpass filter like the 2 omega c so it means that you know that the cos here omega ct is equals to a2 by 2 so 1 plus cos 2 omega ct so it means that your output will be the output of the band pass filter will be like the output of band pass filter will allow 2 omega c to pass so this is uh, the basic operation of the uh, frequency multiplier so uh, and then after that we are using a mixer which is being tuned on a particular frequency after generating the fm signal so it means that the output of the frequency output of the filter will be like if we are using a local oscillator here or the crystal here with the uh, mixer and the frequency of the crystal is fn so it means that the output of the mixer will be equal to fn plus fm and fn minus 
and and the output uh, frequency of uh, the uh, crystal will be equals to fm plus uh, fm and fl plus fm so it means that it will like uh, the bandpass filter will always allow to pass the uh, one uh, one band and then uh, it will uh, reject the other signal so similarly like if you are uh, considering uh, your example like uh, you are uh, considering uh, the doubler so it means that if you are um, uh, you are uh, transmitting your uh, signal you are transmitting your si signal over a particular frequency so here you can take an example like you uh, take an example like you want to generate a signal of a particular frequency of 98.3 uh, that you want 98.3 megahertz signal so your frequency multiplier suppose your frequency multiplier will give you 100 megahertz then the frequency of the local oscillator is 1.7 megahertz so it means it means that if we are adding 100 plus 1.7 the output will be 101.7 megahertz and if it is lower the output will be 98.3 megahertz signal so this is the like so the bandpass filter using the bandpass filter the bandpass filter will reject this frequency and it, it will allow to pass it will allow to pass 98.3 megahertz but of course we can have another message like we can have another message whose frequency is 2 fn so if it is a 2FL, so it means that 2 multiplied by 1.7 equals to 3.4, 3.4 megahertz. And then in that case, our lower frequency will be equals to like 100 minus 3.4 is equal to 96.6 megahertz. So this is again the same frequency, so which will make a problem for us. So it means that this will be a like a cross talk so uh, this will be uh, this will be a cross talk and we need to uh, simplify we need to simplify or we need to uh, uh, solve this problem so which can be done by using the band pass filter so if you use the band pass filter so like using the band pass filter here using the band pass filter will tackle this problem of image frequency rejection and after that you can amplify the signal and then you will get uh, the FM uh, wideband signal so I hope you understand uh, the, the generation of the FM signal using uh, indirect method. If you have any question, like if you want to ask any question or if you want to give some suggestion in order to improve uh, our lecture, so please uh, give your comments in the box. And if you like the, the video, then please press the uh, like button and then uh, we will keep uh, uh, improving our lectures. So for complete understanding, please follow all the lectures. Thank you.